Well, hello, I'm Mike from Record Power, and today is a special day because we have an international guest, Ruby Clare, all the way from Canada, um, who has come to, to visit us here in the UK. Brief introduction, Ruby. So, Ruby Clare, fair to say, a lifelong student mm. and teacher in the arts, not only in painting an amazing carver, but also a specialist in wood turning too. Let's have a look at these. So, all multi, all multi prong. But the big news here is then that the center, the center component is sprung. So it is retractable into the body of the tool, and the pressure of that is adjusted by a screw in the back. So you can adjust the um, the the tension or pressure that you can apply to the center point. Well, the boys that were man doing the manufacturing helped us out with explaining this. Yes, I know. Here they, we go. <laughs> they, they took one of the uh, centers and they carved out a section so you could see a cross section of it. And right here in the center you can see they've put a very substantial spring that's there. There's a, wing, there's a set screw here on the end and by turning that in, you can make the point protrude further if you need be, or you can loosen it off so that it doesn't protrude quite as far. Now what that means is that if you have a piece of laminated wood where you have to put the center right on the um, line of lamination, you can make the center point weak so that you can still center the piece of wood but as you push in from the tailstock, it's these outer teeth that are going to do the gripping. And that will keep the wood from splitting open. Right. So if you've got a potential weak spot in the middle where that center point is going to go, you can relieve the tension to make it less springy. You're going to find your center, but then the outer prongs will hold it and drive the timber round on the lathe. Right. Is that right? And I, I really like one feature is how strong this spring is. And it's right, it's a long spring, isn't it, too? Yeah. It's right the way down the length of the, the shaft. Now, let's talk about the sizes. So let's talk sure. about the sizes. So, I'm going to do metric. Can you do the imperial? I'd be happy to. All right. So, <laughs> we've got a 10 mil, which is? 3 eighths. We have a 16 mil, which is? 5 eighths. Wow. A 22 mil? 7 eighths. 32 mil? One and a quarter inches. Well done, us. <laughs> okay. So, um, in general, does this get your uh, tick of approval, Ruby? Oh, it certainly does, and I'm looking forward to using them because um, a lot of times today you can't buy wood in a solid form, so you end up laminating yeah, pieces like for doing balusters and newel posts, mm. and this eliminates any potential of the wood, uh, the glue joint splitting and open. delaminating. All right, Ruby, well, we've got to say we really, really appreciate you visiting. It's fantastic to oh, see you it, again. It, it, it was wonderful for me, Mike. <laughs> Honestly, just watching the whole process and how the team works together as one, and uh, they're very concerned about getting it right. And I think that's, that's an important factor. Yeah, that's very cool. So um, thanks for taking time to watch this. We hope you give them a go. I'm sure you'll enjoy them. See ya. Bye.